Hello, I would like to present my personal project that I've been working on for a couple months now, and that's this painterly shader system. So, first off, the way it works is by first calling a C sharp script on any mesh I want the shader to be applied to, and that's just necessary for stylizing the any any arbitrary albedo map and turning it into the textures you see here with this with the nice paint strokes and that gets called at the beginning when i launch the game it's a little slow because it averages out all the colors within a certain radius and i haven't optimized it particularly well that would be something to improve in the future um, but after it's finished processing it, it runs relatively OK. Um, then the color texture gets sent to my fragment shader, which also applies custom lighting as well. You can see here, I basically use a modulo system. that I just modulo the lighting based on the same strokes texture that was used to process uh, the albedo maps uh, using the compute shader. And as you can see, it's not without its flaws. It is reasonably effective in creating, oh, it's a black. It's reasonably creating, uh, good in creating hard shadows, however, which approximately match up with the uh, with the strokes. As you can see, I also have a bit of uh, diffraction going on around here. That's also done in the fragment shader. And there's also a geometry shader, which is effectively instancing uh, the geometry. I can add more shells, I can add less, I can tweak the opacity of the shells, etc. It's just there to break up the outline. So the goal, of course, was to create a painterly shader system with painterly lighting, which was a thing we struggled with on our previous game project. So I was hoping to improve that with this. There are a couple things I would want to improve further. So first off, as you can tell, the lighting is not the best. It works decently well if it's just applied to a simple Lambert shading model, but with the shadow texture, it's not as reliable, of course. So what I would do since I would be to just take the Lambert, I mean, take the shadow texture and apply the a, pr a pretty similar thing that I'm doing with the compute shader to the shadow texture, and then feed that into the fragment shader. That would be a way to improve it although I would worry about performance costs on that. Next is the diffraction is currently done in the fragment shader, but it would be better if I could use a jump flood algorithm in, and apply it in screen space to the, uh, to the shadow map. That way I could create even outlines, which you can see they're not entirely even everywhere. Also, currently, as I said, I'm using a geometry shader for the instancing to break up the meshes along the outlines. And an arguably more efficient way of doing this would be using uh, GPU instancing. I, however, have never used a geometry shader. And I thought they were fun. I wanted to try them out. And I'm working on a the shells and thin shader system as well. 
in my current time, so this is a good opportunity to test that out. So yeah, I hope that you found this informative or interesting at all. Thank you for listening.